The miracle of meditation. There is a secret about meditation. It's not actually about sitting down or lying down in a particular space and time. Meditation is about the way we choose to live, breathe and be in this world. And there is another secret about meditation. When we meditate, we bring ourselves closer to the universe. But not only the universe, we bring ourselves closer to the process and through the process of oneness, of oneness. The ego tells us that we are one being, one soul. It's not actually true. We are all one soul, all of us. Our separateness comes from ego. So when we meditate in the stillness and self-realize, realize who we are, we come closest to God and closest to that enlightenment of being one with all other souls. So it's logical that we don't reach full enlightenment until everybody, everybody in the world becomes enlightened. So if we truly want to become enlightened and self-realize, we have a duty, a responsibility, a role to care, look after and love other people. Meditation is about the totality of humanity and not only egoic humanity, but our spiritual oneness. And that's the secret. It's not about the start and the finish of meditation. Meditation is about the communal totality, the oneness of us all. Why do we meditate? Why do we meditate? So many of us meditate because we're looking back in time. We are coping with a relationship breakup or we are coping with an illness. So many of us as animals, as egoic animals, use meditation in order to be animals, to focus on the ego. We define ourselves by our past. Oh, I meditate because my relationship ended. I meditate because I'm coping with pain. I meditate because of loss. It all takes us back so that we can nurse, nurse our wounds. And the funny thing about nursing wounds are, a wound is something which has occurred before. And when we cradle, our wound, we go inward. We protect ourselves rather than opening ourselves up to who we truly are. So yes, meditation can help us cope with the past, but we do not exist in the past. We only exist in the present. So why do we meditate? In order to be truly in the present. And it is in the present that we find ourselves, realize ourselves, become enlightened, reach out to the communal soul and feel happiness. And it is when we stop looking to the past that we know, we know our universal purpose for life. It's not about feeling better. It's not about getting over. It's not about letting go. It's about being here right now and caring, caring about all the souls. It's not about finding a sense of self. 
It's finding a sense of self so we can find everybody else and love them. We can't love them until we're silent, until we're quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. quiet. And how, how do we meditate? If meditation is not essentially about the ego of looking back, of getting over the pain, of defining ourselves through our broken relationship. If meditation is truly about the universe, about our communal soul, how do we do it? By finding the silence by sitting in a sea of silence and listening to the universe. How do we do this? Start by focusing, listening to our heart, feeling our breath, withdrawing from distraction, from the busyness, taking the time to be quiet, to be quiet with ourselves. We can do this by focusing upon breath, by focusing upon a mantra, by finding silence, by experiencing acceptance, by letting go of need, want, need. As as soon as we want and need, we go back to our animal side and we lose the ability to love. So that is the secret of meditation. It's not about reacting, recovering, healing. Its greater purpose is that we realize ourselves so that we realize the totality of all our souls. Our souls are one. We just haven't realized it yet. Thank you.